Hey, what is up guys? We are here with a video today on how to deal with Inferno Scorpion Zoning. This is something I've been requested to do for a while. We're going to be talking about dealing with it, blocking it, interrupting it, uh, just all kinds of stuff to stop these kinds of shenanigans because this is something that's much more effective at frustrating you than it is at actually keeping you out. So I wanted to cover some of the options to deal with it. Now, first things first, we're going to talk about the overhead demon. It looks just like this. Uh, I'll do one more. Okay, so the thing about this demon is that it does 9% if it hits you. It's a little bit slower than the low demon, uh, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Now, what's important about this demon is that if he gets hit by a projectile, as you can see there, his demon will actually disappear. So even though it's on the way down, it'll disappear every time. So it makes that trading with fireballs pretty favorable for you because, yeah, if your fireball comes out first, you can uh, stop it. Now, one other thing that's really good is if you have a move that's really fast, like an armor move like that, you can actually react to it and go through. Uh, so Johnny's really, he has a good answer, obviously, with the Shadow Kick, just like that. And uh, it's pretty easy to armor through. Sometimes you'll take the damage from the Demon when you armor through, and sometimes you won't. It depends on how late you do it. So uh, that is the Overhead Demon, right? Now, we're going to get into Low Demon next. And I'm mostly going to be talking about Overhead and Low Demon today. Those are the two that uh, give you mo the most trouble. So Low Demon looks like this. Now, there's a couple of things to know, note about this. First things first is actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have him do low demon and then block. Because I want you guys to get an idea of how this move is on block. Uh, and I'm gonna reversal glow kick. And as you can see there, that is a legitimate punish. Uh, he can't block that. And that's not just from like half screen or something. We're, we're talking about really far distance here. We're getting a punish. It's minus 27 on block, which means it's very easy to reversal and punish it. I think that's the first time I missed it. Uh, so yeah, it's a really really easy punish. The other thing to note about it is that it hits before overhead demon Which makes blocking this a much easier solution uh, in a lot of ways Right, so let's talk about dealing with defending against it So I'm just gonna have him do a bunch of demons back to back and we'll see if whoops if we can block them Okay. So the one thing to note is that you want to block low and then default to overhead after right? So I block low and then react to the overhead demon. That's how I'm blocking it. You notice that? So the reason I'm not getting hit is because I'm down blocking, right? If the low hits me, then I can glow kick and I'm in, right? Uh, and then if the if the low doesn't come and I still am waiting for the demon, then I stand block because it must be the overhead demon. So when you're blocking these, you're gonna want to default to low block, and then uh, if you know you didn't block it after a second of him waving his arms around doing voodoo magic, stand block. And that's your solution. So, and if you do block the low, you can reversal with whatever move you have that's really fast and get in there and punish. Or if you block it, you can run up and try to do offense with normals and stuff like that, right? So look for stuff that your character has that's really quick. A lot of characters can punish with their own projectiles back. A lot of characters like Johnny have, uh, you know, a full screen really fast advancing move. Like uh, Kung Jin has his flying Jin where he just flies across the screen. Jax can do dash punch. You know, so there's a lot of solutions. A lot of characters can reversal teleport, so just go into training mode and check those out. So that's how you deal with Infernal Scorpion Zoning. That's what makes it really hard to uh, to stop. Once you have this information, much easier to deal with. You can block it correctly. You know how to punish it. You know how to interrupt it. It's really good. One thing also I didn't mention is that you can, you can armor through the low on reaction as well. So if he's doing low demon over and over, you can go right through like that too. So... Armor move is a good choice. Uh, knowing how to block it's important. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys again soon.